Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It is a little after 5 on May 2nd, 2013. We're going to take a look at the chart briefly, but before we do, I need to remind you that the website and the video are for educational purposes only and nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I'm not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy that draws lines on charts. Okay, if I seem a little bit under the weather, it's because I own Arena Pharmaceuticals stock. <laughs> Taking a beating after hours today, and I'm slightly overweighted in it. Tough. I'm going to tough it out. So anyway, uh, today we're up, and... You know, I, I mentioned yesterday when we were looking at the, the chart, we saw this little descending channel with the idea that if we get above this top line that I'm highlighting, we will likely rally, and we got above that line and immediately rallied. But if you look, we've got this little horizontal line right here that we reached and met resistance that also almost lines up with a second back test on this red line and for what it's worth very close to our apex of these two uh, blue lines that I'm really not that worried about at this point that that might be something that that ends up being true but that's nothing you can really take to the bank but it looks like um, we had a dip, a larger dip, and you know what I'm going to say here, just to be, uh, just to be, uh, keep your eyes open. Even though I think we're going to have strong resistance up here, if we do get above 1600, just the same. This is a possible inverted head and shoulders forming here. Possible. I'm not saying it is. We'll know more about that later. But, uh, but really, all I got to add today is we uh, reached this little resistance line. We broke this descending channel and rallied. The little channel that we rallied up on, however, broke about midday, but we only went sideways. So this is not really a real, um, a real signal that there's hard resistance here. So let's see what we see going into tomorrow. Again, if we back out, on this you see just how close to it. Let me move some of these black lines here so we only have the red ones. We'll just get rid of these. You'll see just how close we are to this all-time highs line. Now, I say all-time highs because we are now at an all-time high and we were at an all-time high in 2000 and in 2007 when we made uh, when we met strong resistance and the markets turned down in a hard way. So I'm not saying that's necessarily going to happen now, but it is certainly something to keep your eyes on. Additionally, um, we had a line that had been uh, keeping the S&P in check uh, quite a bit. This line right here got over it in the spring of 2011. And now we're over it again in coming into, uh, here we are in the spring of 2013. The S&P has never rallied very far above this line. So it will be interesting to see what happens going forward into the month of May. For right now, it looks like some short-term resistance right here. And again, I would be looking for support at um at the 1578 level from this line on this uh, rising yellow line and uh, if these start to break then we then we start to look uh, to 1540 as support and and as a critical level of support in the markets so there's your update for may 2nd 2013. thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this thank you for your support take care